virtually every state has venomous snake species, some states contain more lethal species than others. Although I'm not sure if things are truly bigger in Texas, they do have the second highest venomous snake population of any state in the United States. Texas has four kinds of venomous snakes. Each are considered extremely dangerous and potentially deadly. The core quad are rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths, and coral snakes. In this video, we will detail eight of the most venomous snake species in the state of Texas and detail everything you need to know in respect to habitat and bite. We hope you enjoy this material and find it beneficial. The first snake on our list is the Texas coral snake. Packing the most potent venom, the Texas coral belongs to the same family as the cobra and mamba. Residing in the southeastern part of Texas, the coral is not typically found in dry or desert areas. Vegetation and dense forest areas are the primary locations. When it comes to the bite of the coral, it must first be noted that Texas coral snakes are nocturnal and shy. They spend most of their time hiding under burrows and large piles of leaves. Equipped with small things, the Texas coral is typically reluctant to bite. However, a bite from a coral will pack a punch. Complete with neurotoxins, the venom from a coral snake can cause paralysis of the respiratory system. Thankfully, death from a bite is rare as long as medical attention is swift. The second most venomous snake in all of Texas is the Mojave Rattler. In fact, the Mojave possesses the most potent venom of any rattlesnake in the world. Earning its name from the Mojave Desert, the Mojave Rattlesnake can also be found in West Texas, most notably flat or rocky areas with sparse amounts of vegetation. While they can be found in grasslands, this is not typical. In terms of bite and venom, the Mojave is incredibly dangerous. One bite can cause vision trouble in addition to speaking and breathing problems. Thankfully, anti-venom is widely available at most medical centers and any ill effects can be resolved with prompt attention from trained professionals. The next snake on our list is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Responsible for the highest number of snake bites in the United States, the Western Diamondback is both defensive and aggressive. Found throughout most of Texas, this snake has a diverse habitat. From the forest to the desert, the Western Diamondback Rattler could even appear in your backyard. When it comes to bite, this particular rattlesnake can cause massive internal bleeding due to hemotoxins which destroy red blood cells. Anti-venom can prove to be invaluable and prevent a fatal result. One of the most common rattlesnakes in the entire United States, the fourth snake on our list is the timber rattlesnake. These rattlers can be found in Texas as well as the majority of eastern states. Due to their vast abundance, timbers are responsible for the most snake-related deaths in the USA, along with both eastern and western diamondbacks. Often found in the eastern part of Texas, timber rattlers typically reside in wooded and wet areas. They often are spotted near riverbanks, although they are not aquatic. In terms of a potent bite, the timber has a nasty one. While the venom of a timber rattler is not as potent as a Mojave or Diamondback, a bite from a timber demands immediate attention and the necessary anti-venom. Smaller in size compared to the other species of rattlesnakes on this list, the Massasauga rattlesnake is very dangerous. Despite its smaller size, the Massasauga are still pit vipers and can deliver a very toxic bite. The two species of Massasaugas can be found in the great state of Texas. The western can be found in central and north Texas, while the desert Massasauga can be found in the southern and western part of the state. The western Massasauga can be found in grasslands and rocky hill areas, while the desert is largely found in grasslands and prairie. Very shy and reclusive by nature, Massasauga rattlers typically bite as a means of last resort. However, if you were to push the envelope or find yourself in a bad spot, you could still get bitten. Roughly 25% of all bites from a Massasauga are dry. This means no venom is injected. However, the venom that is injected can be quite potent, resulting in tissue death and internal bleeding. 
proper medical treatment is required in order to prevent a dire outcome. Also known as a plains rattlesnake, the prairie rattler is one of the most common snakes in the United States. In the state of Texas, you can find the prairie rattlesnake in the northwestern portion of the state. Living exclusively in flat prairie areas, this snake feeds on animals that it comes across in grasslands. Prairie rattlesnakes rarely find their way to residential areas. Preferring to retreat from danger rather than attack, the odds of suffering a bite are rather marginal. However, if you happen to step on one, that could be a different story. Although the venom produced by a prairie rattlesnake is not as potent as some of the other snakes on our list, immediate medical attention is required. Anti-venom can reduce any effects from a bite and calm negative reactions. The cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin, is a semi-aquatic pit viper. Belonging to the same subfamily as the rattlesnake, cottonmouths exhibit similar physical features, although they do not have rattles on their tails. Often mistaken for simple and harmless water snakes, the cottonmouth means serious business. As you would likely assume, the cottonmouth spends most of its time near or in the water, swamps, lakes, rivers, etc. Although they can take in air, the cottonmouth can hunt underwater for up to an hour. These snakes mainly reside in the eastern and southeastern part of Texas. In comparison, the bite of a cottonmouth is generally not as serious as the bite of a rattlesnake. While deaths are rare, bites can lead to amputation in some cases. This is due to a cottonmouth's venom promoting the death of tissue. The same anti-venom that is primarily used for a rattlesnake bite can also prove effective for cottonmouth encounters. The final snake on our list that roams the heart of Texas is the copperhead. Considered to be the least potent out of all the venomous snakes in America, ironically enough, the copperhead is attributed to the most venomous snake bites in the country due to its abundance. Residing in most of Texas, copperheads have a diverse habitat. This is what makes an encounter all the more likely. From rocky areas to woodlands and even rivers and swamps, the copperhead is seemingly everywhere. The bite from a copperhead can introduce some nasty symptoms, pain, swelling, bruising, vomiting, and increased heart rate. However, due to its lack of potent venom, the introduction of anti-venom is rarely needed. And with the copperhead, the final snake on our list, that will conclude things for this video. From all of us here at snakesforpets.com, we hope you found this material beneficial especially if you reside in the state of Texas or plan to visit in the near future. Be on the lookout as a measure of healthy and responsible precaution. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best and we hope you have a wonderful day.